Hello, everybody. Welcome to Pearls of Wisdom today with Katerina. Have a seat and Suchada. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Mm -hmm. We talk about symbols today. Yes. Mm -hmm. And this is quite a difficult topic, you know. <laughs> 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 it's very deep and it's difficult to understand. It re, uh, just a couple of weeks, I just feel like everything that's going on in my life, you know, um, is kind of symbolic. So what, what is symbol? What is a symbol? First of all, everything in life in that way is symbolic that comes to us because it has a meaning. Now, let me share some pictures um, with you that maybe I can better, I can better explain. So generally the word symbol is important to understand and that gives you already a lot of information. The root is Greek and in Greek it's symbolane, which means putting together. Mm -hmm. The opposite, diabolain, tearing apart. And you can see the devil, diabolo, in this root word. <laughs> so a symbol can be um, always like a guidance. Mm. Symbols are something natural. We have symbols and we have signs. Yes, yeah, symbol is something that naturally is, and you will understand later. A sign is something when human make a certain sign and give it a meaning. Mm -hmm. A symbol has already a meaning, like sacred geometry, etc. It has a meaning, it has a message. But a sign that a human being making, for example, the signs in, in traffic, for example, they make a sign and give it a meaning so everybody knows, but that's a sign, not the symbol. So this is one of the important things generally we need to understand. So start with the circle. The circle is our consciousness, and we know that very clearly from astrology, it's in there. It has no beginning and it has no end. And the circle mm. is always the symbol also of the divine. So it's very easy to understand wherever we see a circle or for example, when people do sacred ceremonies, they very often make a circle first and go into the circle because that is protection. Mm. Because the circle with no beginning and no end, once you're inside, nothing can leak out. In a square or triangle or whatever other form that has an angle that is connected, the, the lines go forward. In whatever angle it is, it doesn't matter, but it does not contain. The circle with no beginning and no end is always the vessel to contain best. So the sharp point, it means bad? Say that again. The sharp point, like you, you said, the, the, the it's not uh, bad or good, it's just different. It does not contain energy. It's you know, everything when you, for example, I learned that the hard way. I made uh, when you make, for example, a water pond or something and you make it round, it's much more stable than if you make an angle and it's always crack in the angle. Hmm. So it, it just contains. We're not talking also about what is good and what is not good yet. It's just like as a symbol. Look at it as the symbol, no beginning, no end. And it symbolizes consciousness, the divine, mm -hmm. that all that is. Mm -hmm. Now, you know that from astrology. 
And one of the easiest way, again, to explain that quickly is here, we have the consciousness, then the next important is the cross, and the cross is matter, it's connected with the number four, and we have the moon is, is connected with the number two, which is the receiving, it's the receiving female part. So we can say also the, the, the sun in the beginning of the week is consciousness, is also birth. I am born into uh, that body, that consciousness comes in. And then the next step is the moon, the receiving part. Then I receive information. I receive uh, input on many ways. And then comes Mars. That is the energy that I need to then mercury process something we see in mercury we have the input the moon we have the sun we have all these symbols here we have here the sun that is here we have the moon on top and then the next sign that is coming in is the cross but the cross is here on mars too because mars that's actually a cross and not an arrow people made an arrow out of it so we have these symbols all combined and this represents the human being. So this is the symbol of a personality. And then here we can just read again the moon standing on the horizontal part of the cross. That means it stands on matter. This is matter. And then we have Venus. We have spirit over matter. That means that is creation. We expand our consciousness. We receive input from up high. That can be our upstairs team is inspiration and all that. So the moment we, we move beyond the limitation of only the material world, we become creative. And we can see here Venus spirit over matter and that sign that we don't find in astrology is the sign of the earth this is matter over spirit that means spirit is closed into matter and here you can see the mars sign that i said before it was a cross it has become an arrow because an arrow is also symbol of energy and that fits very well and then here at the end of the week, on, on here we have Friday in that way. That's Vendredi, Venedi, that's the goddess of love. The sacrifice also, the materialization. And then here the soul goes into the underworld. The soul is under the horizontal uh, uh, level and then is being reborn on Sunday again. So our whole life and everything in life is symbolic that you can read here whatever is coming up and you will see also i mean you know also the aspects these are very clear symbols in sacred geometry so when we go further like the symbol of earth and venus i have here again so spirit over matter, matter over spirit. That's who we are, you know, we are earth being. We have closed our spirit into matter. So you cannot see the spirit, that's our problem. <laughs> so they are good symbols and bad symbols. And you see here, that is one of a very, very um, obvious one. And one that was very important in the world, we can have here the swastika. You can see here, the swastika is in a different angle. Mm -hmm. When you would blow, when the wind blow, it would turn to the right side here. Mm -hmm. That one swastika turns when you blow in the other way around. See, that's turned around. And it's turned also here in the 45 degree angle, see? So it mm -hmm. becomes black magic. So what is black magic? Black magic is the most deepest negative level of consciousness. And white magic would be like, you remember we talked about the consciousness levels that with 500 when we have a table from zero to thousand in the center 
that our heart, in the moment our heart wakes up, in the moment we open our heart, all those negative symbols that have gone into, we can say black magic, into fear and whatever, they turn around. It's like if I plant vegetables, I put in some cow shit or chicken shit or something like that, a compost that makes my stuff grow. So we can say those dark energies are nothing else as the, the waste materials I use to make compost to grow something new. It is going towards decline and the positive energy is going towards light. Like light is life, decline is death. So these are the two forces, the polarity that control the world. And we have here all that, uh, we have that Venus symbol turned around to be the symbol of the devil. It's the same symbol as Venus, but it's turned around. Mm. So the moment the symbol is turned around, it has the opposite meaning. Mm. The moment it has the opposite meaning, it is destroying. And when we turn it around, it's, it's building. Mm -hmm. So we have all the symbols. It's always the same. But this one is one that uh, I didn't know for a long time. And you turn around the, this kind of cross that, that they use as the Christian cross, which is a bad symbol anyway, because it represents death and not life. So you have a whole religion focusing on death instead on life. This is all manipulated, so our consciousness becomes restricted and kind of imprisoned in fear consciousness. So wherever you go, you always see symbols. They're everywhere. The only thing what you have to learn, oh, I need to, wait a second, my battery collapsed. I'm sorry, I forgot to plug in my telephone with the internet. So now it's done. So you can see that a lot of symbols, for example, also the symbol of the eye. In general, a symbol of an eye is not something bad. It just represents seeing. But in the context of other symbols and forms, it becomes something negative. And negative is always against life. Positive is with life. But again, we need that in polarity because everything has a beginning and an end. And you experience negative and positive according to your consciousness level. Let's stop here for a moment because remember again the consciousness level. As long as you are based in that total fear, whatever you see makes you afraid. Mm -hmm. You because you always go into negative anticipation. Mm -hmm. And since you focus your energy on the negative, that's what you attract. Because always what we attract, that's what my story I told you before with my tooth. I attracted negative energy because I was afraid, but it didn't happen. <laughs> So you kind of fall down sometimes into an old pattern. Like for example, also one symbol is the owl. An owl is a very important symbol in the animal um, <clears throat> kingdom for the wisdom of the night. But generally, any, everything what is dark, what is night today has been judged. That is the duality part as bad. But now we turn that around. This, nothing is really bad. It's just like the polarity, negative and positive, and that's it. But as long as people are stuck in duality and judge everything, their life is fear-based. 
think it's, it's also important how we inter how we interpret it, how you see it. Mm. You know, um, you will see a symbol according to the consciousness level. That means when you are fear-based, the symbol, whatever it is, will trigger fear. How, you know, this is like that. You get nothing for free. You always have to work, 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 work hard and, and pay a hard price. So that's the program. And if you get something for free, if somebody give you something just like that, you can, uh, hmm, can I take that? Is that kind of really good or what did she want? Why does she uh -huh. give that to me? And so on and so on. And you tear it into negativity. Uh -huh. But a human being in general, I mean, a real human being is good. What is your very first reaction when you see somebody suffer or when you see a child running into the street? You run after it and you save it. That's a real human being. And that's our first impulse. Our first impulse generally is positive. Negative is program. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. When your first impulse comes to negative, then you're really badly programmed. Mm -hmm. The first impulse usually is positive, but then comes to mind, oh, should I, should I not? Oh, if I run it after the child, I might uh, be cut by the car or whatever it is, you know, then is the mind. And that is the deception because the mind is programmed, but mm -hmm. you can reprogram it. And that's mm -hmm. what we are doing now. We reprogram the mind for another consciousness. Mm -hmm. So let me share again and, and go forward here. So we have all these negative uh, symbols here. And then another, all the numbers that we have are symbols. Mm -hmm. And it's very easy and very simple. So number one is beginning. Anything that begins is one. Then number two is separation. That is going into polarity. Number one is just awareness, but you cannot express it. Now, number two has to do with separation, recognition. Then we start to think. That's the mind. Then number three is, you know, out of two comes number three. That is also some knowledge. Uh, this is the birth of something, and we can celebrate that we oh, got it, you know. And then number four, when we got it, we can, what we can do is we can materialize it. So when you have to know how you materialize it, then once it's done, number five is changed. That means that you're moving on to the next project or whatever. And then number six, we have to balance it. You see that the triangle up and the triangle down, the six pointed star, which is male, female, positive, negative energy to balance. So when number six comes there is you you're connected to balance something then number out of the balance is the conscious spirituality becoming mm -hmm. spiritual becoming uh, to see that there is one point outside of matter then once you or we can also say you can connect with your higher self you can reconnect with spirit that leads you to abundance oh i see a mistake here Abundance and wisdom and abundance actually comes because then you can attract the right things because you move also beyond fear, beyond everything. And then you complete something. Mm -hmm. So it's very easy with the numbers. And then here we have the, the number attributes in numerology. Um, when you make an astrology, like an astrology chart, the numerology chart for a human being, so one is connected with power, courage, and resilience. Two, refinement. The feminine, receptivity, polarity. Then we have here, see, that's out of it. What comes is creativity, imagination, celebration. We have with four, the materialization here. So that's a person who has consistency, diligence, and is practical. And then bit number five, remember that was change, versatility, mobility, to be able to integrate something new. 
people number six they bring harmony tranquility that's also romance you know the it's like libra the, the six-pointed star is female male together that's kind of would be your uh, your um, soulmate or whatever we want to call it and then number seven to find uh to be able to connect to spirituality that's the you have to explore you have to go beyond your usual boundaries you have to become a philosopher we have to do some self analyze which leads to number eight confidence wisdom and abundance so people that are connected with number eight usually they have to give a lot and then nine is is then diversity it's like once you you reach an end once you reach a completion this is also universalism, meaning that you are moving beyond the limitations, but you open up for everything. So this is what we can uh, use also to characterize people. Or when certain numbers appear in your life, certainly you see the 1111 and things like that. These are like different dimensions, like different, um, we can say timelines even, uh, where people are, what they can see in the numbers, in the symbols, and how they interpret it. You have in every number and in every symbol, the lowest consciousness of fear and the highest consciousness of enlightenment. So in everything is positive and negative. But in symbols, visual symbols, usually the symbol is being turned around or flipped or whatever to give it another meaning, a negative meaning. As I showed you in the, in the five-pointed star, the symbol of the devil. This is a Venus symbol who has the point on top turned around to have the two. But again, look at it. This is number two. Look at number two, refinement, feminine, receptive, receptivity, polarity. Okay, here is when we go into number, this is duality. So this is judgment. Here is also number two. That will be then the people who go into the negative polarity mm -hmm. the negative aspect of polarity mm -hmm. so uh, if we have a higher consciousness when we see the the satanic symbol uh, it how it means that we can see in the positive right no a satanic symbol is a satanic symbol and it will remain it it is negative but um, we need to balance the negative and the positive. Okay. We can we can see we can see it and it shows you something. Once mm -hmm. you see those symbols, you can act. For example, also symbols of companies that uh, include very negative black magic signatures. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we have to balance it. My, um, I mean, our feeling when I see it, right? Yes. Look, what, once you see a symbol out there, it has it. it the symbol gives you a feeling about something that mm -hmm. you feel good or you feel not so mm -hmm. good. It's also the combination with colors mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that okay. have a very, very important meaning because we talked about color, how much color influences us. Now, look at that. I just actually this morning, there was a video, it's all in black, all in black, all in black. And then a little bit red or so, you know. Um, this is black is absorbing. Black is stealing your energy. White is reflecting. So I want to be light. I don't want to absorb all that negative stuff. Mm -hmm. And this also be careful again about the colors you wear. If you're ready to absorb, it's fine to wear black. But if you want to reflect and don't absorb everything from the people around you, don't wear black. 
So I think when we see maybe see like the some satanic or you know the negative things. Yeah. For me, I will interpret at it as it's a warning. Yes. Yes. Or like okay, you have to look at this. You have to yeah. be careful. Yes. Yes, you're right. Oh, yeah. you, yes, yes. See, that's why once you can read symbols and can understand them, mm -hmm. you have warning signs everywhere. You know exactly if something is good or not. It's an other thing to see, mm -hmm. another message that comes. Like, for example, if just give a very simple that's just come in my mind now. I sit in my car and drive somewhere and I think about the problem and I think, should I do that? Should I do that? Not what happened? What is? And then I, I, I saw a car in front of me. And this would not be uh, possible in Europe, but the car at the number nine, the car license number nine. <laughs> so this is an end. This is an end of something. So don't worry about it. <laughs> you see what I mean? Uh -huh. yeah. Because that is what is in chronicity that helps you to see things. And, and our whole world is full of guidance for us. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's why a lot of people see but don't see. <laughs> yeah. But okay, Here, let's but talk don't listen. Those who still not to have a very high consciousness. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> the, 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 less, the, the lower the consciousness, the less you see. Mm -hmm. Once you start to awaken, the suddenly you see this, you see that, you see this, okay. you see that, and it goes mm -hmm. up and up and up. And suddenly, wow, you can understand. Mm -hmm. And then you see symbols everywhere. Mm -hmm. And they help you. They help you. Okay, let's go back here. We um, and also like every animal is has a symbol. Like you can see the signature. Now look at this very powerful eagle beak that says something. And the uh, angry look, I said, I am seeing everything, you know. Or like the, the I mean the cat is not so ideal here, but anyway, have you ever seen a cat hunting? Hunting the mouse. Yeah, for example, or there is something out there, the cat goes into position and, and you know, take one little step and then comes with the next one. I mean, this is such a concentration. It's fantastic. And then the other side is like this absolute beautiful, gentle uh, purring cat sitting on my lap in the evening, you know. So you have very clear signature also here, like also this, this frog that has the trust, that, that is the trust in the intuition, like a frog when you imagine. I have a lot of frog here, that's why I know, because they are very clever and they give you signs. And when I swim in my lake now, I can swim again. We still have a few um, of the water lily uh, uh, leaf they sit up there and let me swim by <laughs> and wow. they look at me you know kind of <laughs> it is very funny they're very fascinating animals so every every animal has also a very clear symbolism and there are many cultures native cultures that have worked with symbols of animals i just want to give you different symbols and here we have tarot now see tarot cards i said before they are actually, there's a book without um, page numbers in a way, but they are, is a path inside of them. And when you look here, this, the Rider White Tarot of course, is one of those who still have the original symbols. There are a lot of beautiful, absolutely gorgeous, beautiful uh, Tarot card deck, but they don't have the right symbols anymore. So here you can still find them, you know, here you have the big obelisk, the tower, you know, that the, the obelisk, the Egyptian 
obelisk that we see in um, all the important places, government buildings, they have obelisks in front of them towering down. Then here, here you see we have the sword, which is the mind, the cup represents emotions like water, you know, holding like our body is the cup holding emotion. We have the pentacle, which is matter. And we have here that stick pointing up and down. This means the connection from, from the higher self to the, to the mm -hmm. physical self. We have the infinity symbol of his heart and uh, on his head. That means that he has, initiate, he has had the initiation to be the magician. So when we have the lower arcana or the minor arcana, as we call it, we have our daily life, our daily struggle and everything. Once we move, we complete all the four levels that is material, mental, emotional and spiritual, we will be um, able to move to become the magician, the apprentice, the spiritual apprentice, we can say here. Um, but again, you have to learn to manage your mundane life before. So here you find all the symbols. And again, you, you could, I usually have a two day weekend <laughs> full of um, information for a tarot workshop. So I cannot tell you that in a few words. And then the next step is the flowers. Now see here, for example, that's a beautiful one. The, this is that Venus star here. Now I forgot what the name of the flower. And here you have you have very, very different signatures. Here is also, this is also Venus flower. But look at this one here, the water hyacinth. The water hyacinth has a form of a flame inside. So we can see and here we can see there are many, many, many little flowers. And here there is it's like a more like a rose symbol. So every, every flower has a different message. And that's what is the, the flower therapy, um, the, the essences, essence and the medicine that works with a certain information with all that is the true healing is if you get an information because illness does not start in the body. Mm -hmm. Symbol does it has energy. Yes. Mm -hmm. A symbol is a life form. Mm. Life. Like a flower, mm. like an animal. Mm -hmm. okay. So if we use, like this has grown, like we, we make a flower essence out of it or whatever food we eat, that's why food is medicine. Mm -hmm. You eat signatures. Mm -hmm. This is so difficult for many people to understand. And the more you mess around with the food, the more you lose the signature of the food. Oh. So if you have, for example, some raw food that you still eat raw, like a salad or a tomato or whatever, you have the pure information also of the form and of the color and of everything that is connected. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But some food we need to prepare, we need to cook, it cannot eat raw, it will be poisonous for us. So, I mean, there are other rules, but generally, every, everything that exists has a signature. Mm -hmm. I have here, oh, okay, let me go. I have, I, I want to share, but that, um, Something okay, just this one. So if we, if no, we see, eat... this is because I did write it. I just had to find each symbol represents a different reality on a different consciousness level of human being. Mm -hmm. So if your consciousness level is based in fear, you experience the negative side of them. Mm -hmm. Of all symbols. If, if you're based in fear, that's it. If your consciousness level is based in love, like 
for example, even uh, just positivity, gratitude, whatever is connected to positive energy, your experience will be the, uh, of the positive side of what you see in life in general. Mm -hmm. So this is very this is very important to understand that you can really understand how to move forward. Again, we have you need to rise your consciousness level. And how we do that, we talked many, many times before. So let me see what, what other pictures I have here. There's the flowers. Yeah, I think that's through the pictures more or less. So this is the understand. I, of course, I could have made pictures with the sacred geometry. That's what we have in the aspects. Like we have the number one is the dot. And that is the circle again, remember? Mm -hmm. Then we have number two, which is the line or whatever. It is just like the number two, which brings the polarity. Then we have the triangle. That's again, you have you have gone one two and three gives you the new dimension so in three is understanding is celebration that's the birth of something new again right and then mm -hmm. the number four is the stability the square mm -hmm. but the square also is an imprisonment mm -hmm. And so we have all the, the numbers also in the geometric form. Okay, so we can maybe talk more about now the symbols in daily life, wherever you said, what kind of symbols? Or do you know, do you want to know about? I want to, to, to know uh, how can events have a symbolic meaning? How can we interpret events mm -hmm. to okay um events in our life i mean we have daily every time everything every breath we can say something happening yeah. but in general when, when you look now i go back to astrology because that's the way i can explain it the best okay so you have in astrology a certain constellation that come up today tomorrow whatever and sometimes they are very big clusters or very strong things that are coming up. And each of the planets that are involved have a symbolic message to you, right? Mm -hmm. So, for example, Uranus would be something that passed fast. So if, if you have a very strong Uranus event, something can come in into your life that can be bang, it's here. That can be a car accident in a lower consciousness level or in a, in a situation um, when negative, it might not even be your consciousness level, but it might be that you are connected with some people or, or old karma, or whatever, that something has to happen to wake you up. Mm -hmm. So bang, it can be a car accident in a negative, or it can be even an airplane crash or a shot with a gun. Mm -hmm. um, but it can be an inspiration. It can be that you had worked on a problem in your business, uh, for example, for a solution, whatever, business solution. And suddenly mm -hmm. on that day, whoa, you get the idea and you get it. Or somebody call you and give you the solution out of the blue so something will happen that is very significant for you and that is a symbolic message from uranus so in your chart the symbol of uranus of breakthrough energy fast things happen it gives you an event in your life and it can be as i said it can be from the ne most negative destruction to the most positive uh, enlightenment it depends a hundred percent where your consciousness level is mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So again, like all the symbols we talked before, like the pentagram, 
you turn it around, you have a different form. It can be like both. But in general, even the, if you turn around the pentagram, you can make the image like of the Taurus, of the goddess, which is also uh, connected to Venus, the reception. It's not bad. The symbol itself is never bad. But what people do with it, how they go into duality and judge it. Mm. There comes the difficult aspect and there comes the misunderstanding also. Like, for example, also the, the owl is so much misused, you know, mm. the owl's wisdom. And that's why it's usually connected with books, but it has become also a symbol of um, negative programming the human mind. Let's put it that way. And even, I mean, a bone, a skull, or whatever in general, what is it? It just represents death. It, it is an aspect of Saturn, which is meaning the, the bones, the structure of the body, when all the flesh and everything's gone. But again, you can make, it can remind you, you can use this calling meditation to help you, to remind you what life in the physical body is all about. But you can use it as a black magic negative thing to send out negative energies, destructive energies, death and violence. Okay, so how can we learn to interpret them? Yeah, well, okay. I, again, you learn astrology, you can already uh, interpret a lot of symbols there. Yeah, we can, and, but and you doesn't learn astrology. No, you have to learn to read the signature. Of yeah. a symbol has a signature. Each symbol has a signature. Like mm. for example, um, four corners. Number four. What is number four? Or it has a. Um, Oh, I don't know. Oh, the, 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 the infinity sim symbol, for example, oh. which is a twisted circle. Mm -hmm. And so this is the polarity. We have the, 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 two, the two circles, polarity going forth and back. There's a number two in it, the circle, the first twist, number two. So if you start to look at that, what numbers are involved in this symbol or like, mm -hmm. as you said, something happened in your life, uh, an event, what is, for example, if you're invited in on a wedding? So you will find also probably some Mars Venus aspects or whatever that you are that you are participating in something of this kind of energies, Mars Venus together, having fun. You will find it. You will find it. The moment you start to look, if you look at plants like this flower has six petals this one has five petals or some some um for example just remember the book and Vilia. they have three colorful uh leaves actually they're not petals and the flower inside is very small and white so you have all these beautiful colors all these energies that the triangle what it gives you it makes you happy because when you look at the bougainvillea, when you have a fence bougainvillea that is blooming, it makes you happy because the, the colors are so uh, powerful. It gives you that feeling of brilliance. And, and whatever you, when, once you start to look, you see the symbols. And if you know the symbols of astrology or of numerology, um, geometric sacred geometry a little bit understand the numbers and the, then you will see that what it means and you can make out of it what you want so every event and everything that is happening in our life is connected to symbolism remember the very first picture i showed you is symbolane putting together Mm -hmm. Now, in the past, 
the the lord of the castle or whatever when he had a friend or a friend of the family or the king or whatever what they did they had clay rings they broke a clay ring and gave this guy half and half stood there they mark it somewhere and then when this guy is coming he has to bring the clay ring that he can get back in the castle to prove that this was the the separation now i come back mm -hmm. for example a very important prince who inherit the, the whatever need to have that proof whatever so and that tearing apart that is the Dia Balain. But Dia Balain as such is not negative. But we have used the word Diabolo, devil, as something negative, evil. But when you turn evil around, is life. Live life. So it's always in everything, we always have both aspects. If we move beyond polarity and don't judge as good and bad, an ending can be something really good. If you don't end anything, you will have no more new beginnings. So if we understand symbols, we can plan our life also better because when things are in our life that are connected with numbers for example that uh, we see we like for example you're 58 and then this is a number 11. um yeah five no 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 what did i say 58 13 yeah. sorry <laughs> so you you have some information about the year 13 and then when every year you get older it's like your birth charts changing in the in the, the the one degree of the sun no that we move in the progression that is similar like in the numbers we move one number forward or like in chinese astrology from one sign into the other it's the same and there is a different energy prevalent so the number of our age is connected with us the number of a year for example is connected with the so um like the chinese new year more like with the chinese um area people who are under this energy uh it might be different in other parts of the world mm. but that once you you see that you can have the help of everything you can even go so far and look at the energy of the day. So we have maybe 1st of January, that is a number one, month number one, is this one, one, uh, and so on. You get the, the, the sum and you, you go down till you have one left number. You know how you do that in numerology. You add up all the numbers. Like if you have a number like seven, um, uh, 25, then you put again two and five is seven. Then you have the general mm -hmm. idea what this day does. So if there is something very important you have to do, it's worth it to look into the symbols of the day, the energy of the day. Symbol is also energy and time quality. Mm -hmm. And you can make decisions then. Like in astrology, if you know we have a retrograde Mercury, you're not going to make very important decisions that nail you down the rest of your life. That might not be what you want for your future. So what else? I think that's all the question. Do you have well, something to see? Yeah, let, let's see if you have another. I, I showed you quickly that that is a symbol book, a symbol uh, that's like Wikipedia of symbols, but I it's a very old one. And, and it, it explains a lot of symbols it has. It's alphabetic and it shows, I mean, it shows really, um, it goes into very strong information about numerology and, and the different, uh, this is like Maya um, traditions and, 
different. Also colors, you know, colors also are symbols, you know. So it's it's more or less an endless topic. And, and, and you know, our life is full of symbols, full, everywhere. Mm -hmm. Some symbols are not so important, but some of them really are important. And if you pay attention, your life is very much easier. <laughs> when you talk about the colors also have symbol i've been thinking so the 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 pre preferred color that maybe i choose to wear today yes represent some energy yes yes it does that day it, right uh it gives you a certain vibration because everybody look at you will see the, the colors of course, they see your face, but but you can see the colors I'm wearing. And this is why um, some people are very careful what kind of color, even what kind of tie, whatever they wear on certain events to give out the right message. Mm -hmm. Yes. I remember that, for example, uh, we had, I, I took some manager courses very long, long, long time ago. But, uh, you know, even then it was very clear that if you do this, you wear these colors. And if you go, for example, check for a new job, look at the job, what it is, your woman, your man, do you have to talk the interview with a man or a woman or whatever? Then you have, you can very clearly, even with, it's much more you can have the style of dress the color of dress if you know everything you know you can go very very clear on that mm -hmm. and this is why knowledge is power and you have to know that those who have controlled the world for a long time they have done a fantastic job we didn't mm -hmm. but in that way it was meant to be that way it can be only allowed if the highest divine source is allowing it and we have chosen to live in this part with the free will from the deepest dark to the highest light and we have gone from the light down all the way to the deepest hell and abyss to come back we bring back all the experience and once we are out of this body or maybe even before for some then all these boundaries are moving out all this information is coming back that's why we are walking libraries because we have a lot of knowledge <laughs> and once we have access to everything uh, we are much much bigger than this book uh, <laughs> this is what old souls are and and this is why the people are now gathering together that they can understand that wisdom to make sure that now in this process of transition in that higher consciousness enough people are here to help to read the symbols that's the life once you understand how to read symbols life becomes easier mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Yeah. And I mean, <laughs> you can uh, you can go into anything what you want. I can look at an event in astrology. Then I draw my cards. I can use the Tara, the Dakini. I can whatever numerology. You know what? If if these symbols are right, you always get the same information out of it. Um, I don't have a question. Uh, if I see, if I notice the symbol, um, I interpret in the other way of the real meaning. So is that okay for me? I mean, because I, I feel that the meaning should be this, that proper to me. No, see, that's exactly what it is not. You give meaning to a sign, mm. but not the symbol. A symbol has a meaning. It can mm. be uh, positive or negative all symbols they can turn around like even the triangle you can have the positive the negative triangle everything what you have has the symbol and has a message mm -hmm. you don't need to give it a message 
but mm. your consciousness level will recognize the symbol according to the consciousness level it was set out there. So if I see like an evil symbol, then I know that people have put it out there to keep others in fear, to do something negative, to do something destructive, to hurt, to kill. Like Venus is the one she gives birth in the, neg in the neg negative way, she is the giver of death. Mm -hmm. So what is better? I mean, if you are born into this body, you die out of your spiritual self into the prison of the body. If she comes back afterwards in her black form as death, take you back. You take off your black coat and your light can shine again. You know? mm -hmm. The light that is within that cannot shine. Mm -hmm. You know, I had, um, I read a book very, very, um, it was like, a, in say, you know, a diary. In German, the word would, would be a day book that you uh, write out what you experience during the day. So she made a night book, a nightery kind of. And she said, if you um, embrace death as a lover, he will not rape you. If you understand that death is just the other end of that way, the same door where you came in, this is the same door where you go out. And another thing is also, she said at one point, that, you know, I have to wear that black coat. You would be absolutely blinded if you would see my light. So see, now, but see, this is about the consciousness level. You don't need to change symbols. They have a meaning by itself. Mm -hmm. But I would never relent the negative, like when they write, uh, do an opposite pentacle and make devil forms and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You can also have like Isis, the goddess, inside of the same picture. It depends, again, where you are. Mm -hmm. now, we don't need to change the world we have to wake up ourselves then we can move on and once we are awake we can help to awaken the whole world because that's what I said about the lighthouse each mm -hmm. of the people you know they are higher and lower and closer together whatever they are these lighthouses once when people are awake, when it's daylight, you don't need the lighthouses anymore. Okay. okay. What else? I think that can be all for today. Mm -hmm. A lot to take in already. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, okay. So remember a symbol has a meaning in itself a sign is something that a person makes something like a logo and give it a meaning but you see that very often uh, wrong also people talk about symbols which are signs start to to see that too yes. and once you understand more and more symbol look around signature symbol and signature is something very similar mm -hmm. then you have a lot of information <laughs> right in front of your nose i bet <laughs> you don't need to search for it no. okay. Uh -huh. okay so that's enough for today i think in that case thank you everybody for listening please share and like our video and thank you navasit Thank you, Suchada. Thank you. Okay. Next Thank time. you for your answer. See you next time. <laughs>